So, I finally decided to pick up an R4 card. These things were all the rage back in the day. The only problem is, I know very little to nothing about how these things work, so we might be in for a little bit of a treat. So, you screwed up. You bought an R4 card, and you don't know how to set it up. It's like that time when I went to Miami, Florida, and there was just an entire flock of flamingos. Who there. is this guy? And welcome back to the Video Game OR, the series where we show you the process in repairing and restoring all things gaming. Today, we'll take a look at an AliExpress Nintendo DS R4 flash cart and go over the process for setting up a custom OS known as Twilight Menu. Twilight Menu is the best way to run emulators and homebrew on R4 cards, as it's compatible with the entire Nintendo DS line of systems. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at this flash card. Taking a look at the packaging, you can see that this is a dual-core smart update revision of the R4 card. We'll go over exactly what that means a little later on in the video. Opening up the box, you'll see a note saying, Caution, I'm hot. From what I'm told, this is a reference to a brand of condoms. Sliding out the tray, we'll get to see the R4 card. According to the sticker, it's compatible with the 2DS, 3DS, and DSi line of systems. With that being said, although the card works on these consoles, you can't actually play 3DS or DSi games off this thing. Unfortunately, it only plays games made for the original DS line of consoles. It also features a microSD card slot for loading our OS and storing our ROMs. This thing also comes with the world's cheapest microSD to USB adapters, so good luck trying to use that. When it comes to the wonderful world of R4 cards, there's a few revisions to be mindful of. The one we have today is a smart update card, designated by this line of text seen at the bottom of the label. This means that the card is free of any time bombs, a feature that manufacturers would use to force you to purchase a new R4 card past a certain date. These cards show up as a game deep labyrinth when on the DS home screen. You may come across a version of this card that looks slightly different and has a URL that ends in .cn instead of .hk printed on it. But when it comes to functionality, these are virtually identical to one another. However, if your card says real-time save on it, note that it most likely has a time bomb. No, you don't need to worry too much about that as it can be removed. If you want to see a tutorial going over how to do that, let me know down in the comments. These cards can also come up as a Bomberman game when viewed on the home screen. Now with R4 Cards 101 out of the way, this tutorial and the provided files are for the R4 Smart Update cards which boot into Deep Labyrinth. If you have a real-time save card, this tutorial and the supplied files will not work for you. When it comes to microSD cards, it's recommended to use a 32GB one for optimal load times. However, any size could potentially work so long as it's formatted correctly. Speaking of formatting, you'll want to format the SD under the FAT32 file structure with a 32KB allocation size. Once formatted, we can move on to installing Twilight Menu. Download the archive for the smart update files from the link in the description. Then copy it over to your SD card. Once copied, right-click on the zip file and extract the contents to the root of the SD card. Then banish the archive as it's no longer needed. Now enter the extracted Twilight Menu folder and move all the included files over to the main SD card directory. With all the files moved out of the Twilight Menu folder, you can go ahead and delete it. When it comes to installing your backups, you'll notice a ROMs folder among the Twilight Menu files. Inside it are a ton of subfolders for each of the supported emulators. For this tutorial, I'll be installing a Nintendo DS backup, so we'll need to open the NDS folder. Once inside the correct folder, all you need to do is drag and drop your backup file and wait for it to transfer. Then, after it's been copied, you should be all good to go. Yeah, installing games is really that easy. At this point, you can add any other backups you may have to the SD card. Once you're finished, that should be everything that you need a PC for, so go ahead and eject your micro SD card from your computer. Now insert your SD card into the R4 card and put it into a Nintendo DS system. Selecting Deep Labyrinth on the home screen will launch the initial setup for the Twilight Menu operating system. Go ahead and select your preferred language for the user interface, games, and game titles. I'll just leave these as the system default. Then press A to proceed. Now select your region, and upon pressing A again, it will then load you into Twilight Menu. On the home screen, you'll notice a GBA, ROMs, and Twilight Menu directory. We don't need to see the GBA directory, so we can hide it by highlighting the folder and pressing the X button to pull up a confirmation window. Pressing select will take you to a screen resembling the default DS menu. Selecting the DS icon will open the settings for Twilight Menu. 
From here, you can change the theme for the main menu, in addition to the accompanying menu music. Pressing the right bumper will take you to the DS Bootstrap settings. Here, you can change various settings for loading DS backups. Pressing the right bumper again will take you to the options for the Game Boy Advance emulator included with Twilight menu. Hitting the shoulder button yet again will take you to the settings for some of the other emulators and apps, followed by the miscellaneous settings, and finally back to the UI settings. Pressing the B button will save your changes and exit settings, followed by loading you back to the main menu. In order to play the backups loaded on your SD card, enter the ROMs folder, then navigate to the directory housing your desired game, and press the A button to load it. If you were to press the Y button instead, you'll be taken to the game's launch options. From here, pressing the X button will bring up the cheats menu. The cheats available will differ for each game, so be sure to check the list for your options. Once your desired cheats are toggled, press X again to save at which point you can start the game. Congratulations, as you've officially set up Twilight Menu and loaded backups onto your R4 card. There's a lot more you can do using this flashcard, including backing up your DS games and even playing videos. If you'd like to see how to do that or anything else, be sure to let me know and we can cover that in a future video. However, that's just about all for this tutorial, but before we wrap up, let's see today's featured comment. This video's comment of the day was brought to you by Hello, Have a Good Day, who said, Hey man, I'd appreciate it if you had a tutorial on setting up an R4 card and potentially removing a time bomb. I've been wanting one so I can separate my DS ROMs from my 3DS. Thanks for the comment, and sorry I haven't gotten to this tutorial sooner, but hopefully it can help you out with getting one up and running. Also, you should not have to worry about time bombs on smart update cards, just the real-time save ones. So when purchasing one, look out for the smart update text before purchasing. Now, if you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like and making that subscribe button glow so that you don't miss any future content. And if you have any lingering questions, be sure to leave a comment or visit our official Discord server. Link down below in case you're interested in stopping by. With that, I'll see you in the next one.